All right, so if you got Sagittarius mutable, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or Mercury through motherfucking Saturn and this motherfucking shit. So Sagittarius mutable fire. Being mutable, being able to, y'all y'all too late. Somebody on Clubhouse Christian, she, she was fast. You know what I'm saying? Just like Sagittarius energy. But like I said, it's mutable fire. Being mutable and being able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about things. So it's not so cardinal. It's more relatable in that energy. So it could be Libra-like at times. So if you got this on the ascendant, you the type of individual who might try to initiate, I mean, you the type of individual who might try to be mutable in your way or other people's ways of seeing and feeling about things or expressions and shit like that. So a lot of times you may make yourself a part of other people's personal issues, other people's personal affairs and stuff like that. And you may come up in your mind of why you're doing it. You may say, oh, I think God telling me to do this or I think this is my spiritual path or some goddamn shit like that. So make sure you don't get too thrown out and with the Sagittarius Ascendant but because you'll make yourself a part of toxic ass motherfuckers for no reason. And you'll be looking from afar early within a relationship thinking that it's a good thing to do and then before you start to experience i mean once you start to experience that shit that's when you're gonna start to get all the wisdom all the knowledge and some of these experiences ain't gonna be all positive in this motherfucking shit but for the most part like i said you're the type of person who likes to be mutable and be understanding with other everybody else's in the world personal issues and affairs and you need to understand some people in your life ain't even worth you trying to be understanding and connect in some way, shape, or form. Now, let's say you got this in the motherfucking sun, right? This mutable fire. You're the type of individual who likes to be mutable and be able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about actions, viewpoints, and stuff like that. So you always like to add your two cents on how to make somebody else better when it comes to their way of acting, their way of seeing things, how they view things in that nature. To the point that you may start to come across as your family preacher or your family teacher or just a person who show with your own actions what you want to be trapped in and what you don't want to be trapped in and shit like that. So sometimes that can lead into toxic shit. So be careful of that when it's in the sun. Now when it's in the moon, here's the thing. You're the type of individual who likes to be mutable with your way and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about things. So this can lead you into a, a energy of being a people pleaser or trying to be too relatable, too understanding, too overstanding to the point that you will throw away your own feelings due to the fact of thinking that you're doing something for God or doing something spiritually in some way, shape, or form. And then that's when you devalue what you actually want to emotionally connect to in some way, shape, or form. So you have to be careful of that also because your feelings ain't used for spiritual natures. Your feelings ain't used for learning pro uh, purposes. And you'll be in a situation where you start thinking that all, you're supposed to learn from all your feelings. And then once it gets so confined and you have to explode, you come out looking very negative to other individuals because people ain't know that you was harboring over all those goddamn feelings. Now, when it comes to two goddamn it, uh, Sagittarius, I mean, uh, the uh, motherfucking Mercury. Now it's debilitated here, right? So for the most part, you're the type of individual who likes to be mutable and like to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about thinking and communicating. Now when you're trying to see and feel about communication all day and thinking, right, this could lead you into not having or a comfortable or a, a conclusion or an agreeable state in your mind on what you actually want to express. So you'll figure out trying to learn or overthink about everything that's in your mind before you actually express it. So so if you ain't got no external way of motherfucker trying to communicate uh, what you got in your mind, like you ain't got no external expression, you know, don't know how to draw, don't know how to make no music, don't know how to do no art, don't know how to do no motherfucking shit, you're going to have the hard time trying to express what's on your motherfucking mind and having people understand that goddamn shit. So keep that in mind also. This is mutable motherfucking fire and mercury. The way you try to be relatable and see from other people where they're coming from, sometimes you dive too far and you like start to be seen as unrelatable as non-understanding and then the, the, like the forms that you jumped into the think that you was understanding the forms that you jumped into the think that you knew was on somebody else's mind is you just looking like you need a straight jacket you know what i'm saying and you thought you was diving deep and you went too far and none of not all i'm saying not la la land not all land you know what i'm saying not all land is you got lost behind the moon and you thought you had something right la la land is where you just flunked out by yourself somewhere you know what I'm saying? Not our land is you trying to connect to someone else and you trying to say that they lost or something like that. And you look lost trying to tell them where they at. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where they at. You don't even know where yourself is at. So that's like a Sagittarius Mercury right there. Now let's say you got this shit in motherfucking, uh, goddamn it, uh, Venus. You the type of person who likes to, um, be mutable. And be able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about motherfucking love matters and shit like that. So a lot of times you could be seen as a cheater. You could be seen as a person that can't be trapped. 
You can be seen as a person who don't know what they want, they damn self. Y'all you know saying get too low, but don't doubt. You don't even know what you want, your damn self type energy and shit like you gonna go blame it on God or something like that. Oh your God told me to be single right now. And you wasn't you wasn't really single, you was just cheating. You know what I'm saying? Got thrown and blamed it on God. God ain't had shit to do with that. You need to understand, you know, that, that Sagittarius and Venus. You know what I'm saying? You like real mutable. So mutable, can't get locked down. Even if somebody do marry your ass and shit like that. If they don't got your same aspirations, inspirations, uh, adventure energy and shit like that, you might get thrown out and get bored in some way, shape, or form and then blame it on God again. Now, uh, let's say you got this on uh, motherfucking Mars, right? Now, here's the thing. You're the type of person who likes to be mutable, be able to adapt to your own and other people's ways of seeing and feeling about passions, motivations, desires. So you feel like you could be like, you always feel like you're the star. You can add on to other people's passions. You can add on to other people's motivations. You can add on to other people's goals. And really, you don't be doing nothing but adding on to other people's anger and aggression, stuff like that, and getting on people's nerves and try to give them advice and think you're smarter than them. But a lot of times you are. But it get thrown out if you go too far in that energy. You know what I'm saying? Now let's say you got this motherfucking shit and goddamn it, uh, Jupiter. Now for the most part, uh, now you like the type of person who like to be mutable and be able to adapt to your own other people's ways of seeing and feeling about experiences. So this makes you very wise because you're you're understanding from other people's struggles. You're understanding from other people's ups and downs because you understand your own ups and downs, your own experiences, your own funkiness. I'm saying stuff like that so you're able to not like judge that easily like other people judge quick and fast you don't judge that easy you sit back and observe and be like okay this ain't worth judging like that everybody the same now and then last but not least Saturn right you like to be mutable and be able to adapt to your own and other people ways of seeing and feeling about reality or gain a, uh, or gain a structure in one's life and shit like that or the harsh realities or organizing and shit like that so you like to be mutable you like to be mutable in your way of seeing these things. So you, you're willing to make yourself a part of other people's organizations. Uh, you're able to uh, give your asset to others or align yourself with others who are willing to do that in some way, shape, or form for a larger plan, like a bigger plan. So this make you Aquarian-like. Also, if you got motherfucking Sagittarius in uh, motherfucking uh, Saturn, you know what I'm saying? It just got to be on some shit that you agree with as far as your creativity and your visions or some shit like that.